Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about wigs. And I know you haven't seen me in a wig in a while since I shaved all my hair off because I've just been living free and I'm loving it. But obviously I do still love wigs and I still order wigs all the time. And you guys might be thinking, judging by my videos previously, that I must love all the wigs I buy because I'm just rocking them left and right, but no. There are wigs that I buy that never see the light of day, that you never see, that Instagram never sees, that nobody sees but my closet. So I figured why not do a video on all my failed wigs. So yeah, let me go ahead and try these on for you real quick. And you guys can see my wasted money. Besides the fact that I look like an anime character, this just doesn't work for me. It's too much for my head. It's too big for my head. And this is even with me cutting it. Like, look at the back. It is too, like, there's too much wig here for my head. It was worse than this when I opened it. Like, the bangs were, like, this long all around. It was just too much for me. Uh, I'm not mad at the color, personally. It's supposed to be like a, a platinum rose gold color. I just grabbed a little scarf. I don't know if this might help, but I'll try it. the most rough bow I've ever seen in my entire life um, but yeah I wouldn't be mad at it if, it if I had like a scarf on or a hat or something like that but on its own it is not for me it is just I feel like Malibu Barbie from hell it is just not for me it is not my style it is not my color, it is not anything for me. I feel like a real life baby doll right now. I was expecting it to be like dark on top and then go down to a nice ombre to this like very nice blonde color, this creamy blonde color. And I like the color of this part of it, but it doesn't work with this wig and it does not work for me at all. I wish I loved this wig and I liked the color and I liked the wig. Not not together though, it's a no for me. I want you guys to rate all these wigs. So the first one was number one, this one's gonna be number two. And I want you guys to rate between one and 10 in the comments whenever you guys see them because I wanna hear your thoughts on these. Let's get this cute little wig off my head. You are cute though, girl. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I feel really cute in this way, okay? This is one of my, and I know this is gonna sound stupid because it's in a fail video, but this is one of my cutest wigs. Like, I love this wig so much for the way that it looks from a distance, okay? This is my only wig that I own that is not a lace front that does not have bangs. So, if it had bangs, of course, it would hide it. You don't need it to be a lace front, but this needs to be a lace front. I try to cut little baby hairs into it. I try to make it look real cute, but the fact of the matter is, is that it's very thick and it does not blend into your skin. There's the front and that's it. That's that's all you get. If we're going by how good I feel in it, I'm going to give it a 10. But if we're going to go by how it looks when you actually get up close to my part, then I'm going to give it like a 3 at the most. I'm like a little cherry. This way borderline gives me nightmares. And I'm going to tell you why. So you guys have actually seen this wig before, you probably don't recognize it, but this is a wig that I had in my affordable wig haul that I did a while back, and it was blonde and a little bit longer <sighs> and straight, okay? First of all, what part? Because I do not see a single part in this wig, and of course I could pluck one, but this came like tight. But the reason why I hate this wig, it just makes me so angry. First of all, do you see this? Do you see my hands right now? They are yellow. I look like those infomercials when they tell you what happens to you when you smoke and your nails turn yellow and fall off. That is how I look right now. It took me so many tries to even just get it this color. I put so many different things on this to make it this color and it still is disgusting. With me putting it in hot water when I dyed it and everything, it gave like this bumpy texture. I'm not even gonna call this wavy, I'm gonna call it bumpy and lumpy because that's what it is. I might wear this for pictures on Instagram just because the color is kind of cool but that is, that is it. So this one, 
is like the ultimate expectation versus reality. I thought that this was going to be like a dark, dusty, rosy color at the bottom and boy was I wrong. Yeah, what looks like Barbie's hair to me? You know, actually, maybe not even Barbie because I know Bratz dolls wouldn't wear this hair. Maybe my scene dolls would wear this hair, I don't know. If it wasn't for this color, like variation here, it wouldn't even be on a fail list because it's not an ugly wig. It's actually cute. I just need to fix the parting a little bit and it would be cute. But why does it have to look like this? Like I feel like a teen pop star right now. Either pick it to be pink at the bottom all the way because that wouldn't even be bad either. Or pick it to be this brown, you know, rosy color. I can't do both. It's not for me. Hmm. You could have been a winner. debated whether or not to put this one on the list but I did get it in like the same order as the rest of these when I was just ordering random things online the reason why I ordered this is because I missed my green hair you guys all know my green hair was pretty fabulous I did love my green hair so much but it's gone now and I kind of needed to fill that void I would have been so much happier with this wig if it was all this color I cannot stand black roots on myself Anytime that I buy a synthetic wig with black roots or an all black wig, the knots are ridiculous. They're like gigantic black pebbles all over your head. You have to pluck out and everything like that and it can look wiggy if you have any of those little dots on your head. Obviously because you don't have little black dots on your party in your actual head. Still popping, I'll still wear it on Instagram, I'll still probably wear it on here. I might even wear it out. Who knows? But I just had to include it. Sorry baby, you're, you're cute though. You're cute. Okay, last but certainly not least, and if you've seen my Instagram, you know I'm a big fat phony because I just posted pictures in this wig, but let me explain, okay? When I bought this wig, this is what it was supposed to look like right here, okay? Does this look like this? It doesn't look like this. Let me tell you really quick. This wig was parted straight down the middle and it had a little bit of curl to it, but it did not look like this. It did not look like this on me. I didn't like it. So what I did was cut bangs into it to cut a little bit of texture, brush it out, and <laughs> secretly I'm in love with it now. I've had this wig. I've had this wig for quite a while. Still had the little tag on it, everything, and I never tried to make it work until today. So that goes to show sometimes a fail could turn into something popping. I literally just took scissors to it a little bit ago, took pictures in it outside, and I was just feeling myself so much. And basically everybody just keeps telling me I look like my daughter because she has curly hair as well. And I agree, I absolutely look just like her. She looks just like me right now. With that all being said, I actually love this wig now. I would say if you are thinking about purchasing that wig, I would do the same. I love the way that the bangs look. I just think it looks so much better than it did. So yeah, guys, this is the last wig. I wanted to finish it off with a bang. Um, so let me know your ratings from 1 to 10 down below. I want to hear what you guys think about these wigs. How tragic were they? Were they salvageable? Do you feel like you could rock them? Let me know down below because apparently I couldn't rock most of them. Just a quick reminder that we are so close to 200,000 subscribers. We literally need like 9,000 maybe to hit that I believe and I'm so excited because if you guys have been following me for a long time you know that I've been doing this for quite a while and I'm not gonna lie sometimes it does get a little bit discouraging seeing that your numbers aren't really moving and so I like to know that you guys are actually enjoying my content and you're joining the, the club over here so if you did like this video please feel free to subscribe and I will see you next time bye guys